His Highness Sheikh Khalifa assumed his post as ruler of Abu Dhabi and president of the United Arab Emirates in 2004 after many decades of working closely with his father, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the founder of the federation. Born in the inland oasis city of Al Ain in 1948, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa was educated in a local school. On 18 September 1966, following his father's assumption of the post of ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa was appointed as ruler's representative in the eastern region of Abu Dhabi and as head of the court's department in Al Ain. On 1st February 1969, Sheikh Khalifa was nominated as Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. This being followed on 2nd February 1969 by his appointment as the head of the Abu Dhabi Department of Defence, in which the post oversaw the building up of the Abu Dhabi Defence Force, which later became the nucleus of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces. On 1st of July 1971. As part of the restructuring of the government of the emirate, Sheikh Khalifa was appointed Prime Minister of Abu Dhabi and Minister of Defence and Finance. On 23rd December 1973, Sheikh Khalifa assumed the post of Deputy Prime Minister in the second UAE Federal Cabinet. When he succeeded his father, the late His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, Sheikh Khalifa said that he learned the need of patience and prudence in all things from his father. Since becoming UAE president, Sheikh Khalifa has presided over a major restructuring of both the federal government and the government of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. Sheikh Khalifa has also undertaken extensive tours throughout the United Arab Emirates to study the needs of the Northern Emirates during which he has given instruction for the building of a number of projects related to housing, education and social services. Sheikh Khalifa has overseen dramatic changes too in the government of Abu Dhabi where particular attention has been paid to two aspects improvement in terms of efficiency and cost for services provided to the public and the opening up of much of the economy so that greater scope has been provided for direct private investment and for public private partnership in december 2005 on his national day message sheikh khalifa said it is high time for our political religious cultural information educational and civil society institutions to take up their respective responsibilities to instill in our society the values of love of work to change the negative perceptions about vocational work It is high time to make them understand the true meaning of work that it means responsibility and reflects human civil and religious values. These institutions also need to work hard to diversify the skills of the national human resources to raise productivity, encourage investment in human resources development, improve voluntary work and create awareness on this noble work and its significance to individuals and society in general. Sheikh Khalifa oversaw the realization of a wide-ranging development program in Abu Dhabi including the construction of housing water supply and other essential services roads and general infrastructure that led to the emergence of the city of Abu Dhabi as a modern city that it is today of particular importance in terms of ensuring that citizens were able to benefit from the country's increasing wealth was the establishment by Sheikh Khalifa of the Khalifa Committee Sheikh Khalifa has also been involved extensively in other areas of the country's development. In May 1976, following the unification of the armed forces of the Emirates, Sheikh Khalifa was nominated as Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. In this capacity, he devoted much attention to the building up of the country's defensive capability through the establishment of many military training institutions, and he also ensured procurement of the latest military equipment and training.
Sheikh Khalifa is a strong supporter of the six-member Gulf Cooperation Council, believing that the success and achievements of this body reflect the depth and understanding reached amongst its leaders. While emphasizing the need for a restructuring at home, not just in terms of government but also in the way the UAE's people took upon their own duties towards society, Sheikh Khalifa has at the same time continued to ensure that the country pursues an active foreign policy. Sheikh Khalifa was demonstrated his commitment to continuing to build relations with other countries both by receiving visiting leaders from other countries in Asia and Europe as well as from other Arab countries and by paying visits to Central Asian states with whom he has been an active proponent of closer ties ever since they emerged after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. One of the wider issues has been the continuing turmoil in Iraq. Sheikh Khalifa has pursued a consistent policy of supporting the efforts by Iraq's elected representatives to restore peace and stability both through offering diplomatic support and through a wide range of assistance for reconstruction of Iraq's shattered economy. At the same time, he has urged the various communities in Iraq, whether religious or regional, to recognize that their future is best guaranteed by working together and by promoting the unity of both the country and its people. Another issue seen by Sheikh Khalifa as being part of a crucial importance is that of the conflict between Israel and Palestine people. As has been the case since the creation of the Federation in 1971, the UAE has continued to express its support for the Palestinian people, with Sheikh Khalifa demonstrating his own personal interest by funding a major housing program, Sheikh Khalifa City in Rafah in the Gaza Strip. He has also proved to be a generous donor of emergency assistance at times of natural disaster, responding immediately in sending help after events such as the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and the autumn 2005 earthquake that devastated much of northern Pakistan and neighboring parts of India. Sheikh Khalifa has held a number of other top posts in the Abu Dhabi government. Since the late 1980s, for example, he has been chairman of the Supreme Petroleum Council, responsible for oversight of Abu Dhabi's upstream and downstream oil and gas industries, although he has also actively encouraged diversification of the country's economy away from dependence on its depletable reserves of hydrocarbons. Sheikh Khalifa has stated that his key objective as the President of the United Arab Emirates will be to continue on the path laid down by his father, whose legacy, he says, will continue to be the beacon guiding into the future, a prosperous future where security and stability will reign. <laughs>